there was no such agreement that uh, the people who were affected should be reinstated unconditionally. There was no such agreement. Tonight, we're live on the university campus and we'll hear from the local UTAC. Also, we'll take you to Parliament where members of the appointment committee split heads over the approval of Evelyn Kumi Richardson as minister for the newly created Bono East region. The minority insist she she lacks credibility for this position. We'll tell you more. Top Story is brought to you by Bond Savings and Loans, Your Success, Our Passion. Gassem, the nation builder, builder from the future is exciting. Ready? And nationwide medical health insurance, your health care family. I am Gifty and up here. of Parliament for Efutu, Alexander Afenyo Markin, is war- warning until all dismissed lecturers of the University of Education are reinstated, peace and reconciliation will elude the university. The university, which remained closed after student riots following dismissal and suspension of some lecturers, is hoping to reopen on Monday. But that may not come as smoothly as Mr. Fenomarkin seeks to suggest, there are outstanding issues to be dealt with. He is unhappy. The council and the vice chancellor only chose to reinstate three out of 13 lecturers suspended for various reasons. For him, the development does not promote reconciliation and may further entrench divisions on campus. My worry is that we shouldn't uh, give a half big. Uh, solution. We need a complete solution. We need to resolve the matter once and for all. As far as I know, from the meetings that I participated in and the conclusions arrived there too, all those who were uh, sacked as a result of disagreement with the new management in one way or the other were supposed to be reinstated. And I believe the Vice Chancellor is well aware of this. He and I know that those people, most of them, were seen as uh, supporters of Avoke. We are being all tasked to ensure reconciliation. Reconciliation should not be done in a manner that will not give a positive impression. Dr. Bequin is supposed to be reinstated. I don't see why Bequin must be left out. I don't see why Agbeshi will still have to sit at home on suspension. I don't see why Agbeshi must be uh, demoted. I don't see why um, um, somebody um, like uh, Dr. Duku will be reinstated and others left out. Mr. Kwashi the circumstances for the termination of his appointment i mean um were unfair i expect that the right things will be done you see the gang of six that is the mouth to advocate and his group as far as i know again they were supposed to be compensated i want a full package a f- complete announcement but to solve it halfway without giving explanation that the others are also on the table uh, creates a disturbing uh, you know situation it creates a disturbing situation he says he wants a full packet tonight he joins me on the line right now so we can probe this further mr Martin, thank you very much for your time this evening Afenio Martin, thank you very much. Thank you. For having me. Well, three lecturers have been reinstated. That should be a good start to the reconciliation that you expect and should be accepted as such, no? Well, um, some believe, but if the opportunity uh, was there for a full party to be given out, how would it be? Uh, Mr. Fenomarkin, if you can reposition, I'm having a hard time hearing you and I'm sure my listeners as well. If you can reposition, we can start it again. 
Yes. Uh, is it better? Please? It sounds better. Please go ahead. Very well. So my point is, uh, if the opportunity was there to consider all the matters, and only three were taken, uh, I would not see it as a relief. Time is of the essence. The future of students uh, is at stake. Um, lecturers who have sacrificed to uh, join the university community have some legitimate expectation to get a fair hearing on all these issues. I would want to appeal one more time to the vice chancellor. He knows that he is the chief complainant in all of these. When there were issues and a call was made for him to resign, he at least uh, made people aware that he loved his job and he wanted to stay on. He's been tasked to lead that reconciliation effort. I expect that we will not pursue reconciliation in a piecemeal. Let's give assurances to people that we're ready to unite and work together. And this is what I expect from the vice. Mm, Ms. Afenyamaki, you speak about reconciliation. Um, you also speak about uh, a meeting that uh, at which there was this agreement. But the, but the university says there has not been any such agreement to reinstate all of the affected le lecturers. At best, they were asked to petition the council if they thought they were unfairly dealt with. Very well. You see, I don't know whether the vice chancellor thinks that it will serve his interest to begin another round of debate. But if that is his pleasure, he would have it. Um, you see, good faith is all that is needed in such situations. I am quoting on authority that I was there. I was there. Others were there. And a decision was taken. An advice was given. Twofold. Fold one, that the gang of six be compensated. Others, they should look at it. And for the purpose of reconciliation and peace, those matters should be resolved. There is only one exceptional matter. That is plagiarism. A lecturer who had, uh, you know, was found, found foul of uh, some academic work. That one is an exceptional situation. Nobody would want to encourage that. But I'm saying that majority of the people uh, are, are victims of this whole brouhaha. And those internal stakeholders are aware. Don't let us start another debate and then it will blow out and it will assume another dimension. Let's solve the matter once and for all. Right. Mr. Mr. Fenomake, hang on for me. Um, just quickly, let me indicate, though, that the university, the vice chancellor has not said this. Well, this information was given uh, uh, at a press conference organized by the university's council. That information that um, at best the lecturers were told to petition the council if they thought they had now, been unfairly me, dealt with. Let me deal with the but, issue of petition. This is gifty. Uh, sorry, sir. Sorry, madam. Gifty, let me once again make the point. The advice given, Honorable Kennedy, Japan, and I were tasked to communicate to UTAC. We did so, and UTAC filed the petition. It was signed by Dr. Jinapo on behalf of all the affected uh, workers, teaching and non-teaching. I was copied. Other stakeholders were copied. If that is the working document, I expect that, look, all these things will be resolved. Now, if you say you have reinstated the three, the last three that triggered the, 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 the demonstration, then what are you trying to say? Meanwhile, you have written to the lawyers, your lawyers to uh, inform the court in respect of Dr. Bequin's case, that you are pursuing reconciliation. All that I'm trying to say is that, look, let's demonstrate good faith. Okay. Vice Chancellor wants to remain at post. Some of us were of the view that considering his posture, 
it will be difficult for him to lead. But he has assured some people that, look, he can. If you can, and, and, demonstrate it. But Mr. Fenyama, can I take it that this happened at this meeting that you referred to? This meeting is the one you had... And subsequent at, meeting. And, and, subsequent, and, subsequent, and meeting. subsequent meetings. I'll have you listen to the the PRO for the University of Education, Winneba, um, on this meeting at, wh- uh, at which this conclusion um, was reached. Do listen. I have made that point clear before, that at that meeting, there was no such agreement that... Uh, the people who were affected should be reinstated unconditionally. There was no such agreement. The discussion centered around uh, trying to restore peace on, on campus and ensuring order. And, and that was what took place at that uh, meeting, I am informed. I see. Well, we'll have to get Ms. Afino Markin back on that, perhaps. So that is the uh, PR for the university, Mr. Enes Azutiga, there, speaking to me earlier on TV on the polls. Mr. Fenomalkin, how do you respond to that? Well, he says he was informed. I would beg him to go back to those who informed him to uh, get the necessary updates. Bottom line, reconciliation, full package. Matters must be resolved once and for all. You see, what was the offense of Agbeshi? He sent a WhatsApp message during the court case. So he's, he's been demoted? It's ridiculous. Okay. What was the offense of the Queen and others? Okay. Please. You see, I will plead once again. I mean, initial people said, oh, Afenio, you were too harsh on matters and all that. Fine. There was no problem. I will plead with the university. We are dealing with the lives of people. Do unto others as you wish them do unto you. Please, Mr. Vice Chancellor, treat Ma- the others fairly. And let's move on. Okay, Mr. Fenemarkin, I, I, I mean, indeed you are a member of parliament for, um, uh, for the Futu area. But then a lot of people have said that, why don't you uh, specifically step aside and allow the processes to go through, allow the university to manage its own affairs and get, uh, get what they need to get done done. The school is reopening, by the way, on the 8th of April. So persons like you should step aside. Won't you agree with that assertion? Okay. When that driver drove recklessly and killed people on our highways, the Minister of Transport was not the one who did it. But Ghanaians called on government to take action. Correct? When the Kintampo issue happened, government had to be called upon to take action. It doesn't come as a disappointment if anybody says that, uh, stay away. That is Ghana. It's democracy. But I want to tell you that I wouldn't sit on concern. And your interest in this is what? What else can my interest be? The public interest. When yesterday things were wrong and Father Fubroni petitioned my office, didn't he know at the time he was getting me to interfere? Today, is it interference? What he's doing is so wrong. So then you admit that you are, what you're doing is basically interference? It can be. What is your definition of interference? That something is going wrong at your backyard? and you so don't, This you is an academic institution. It? Academic institutions are expected to be independent and to be able to do things the way they didn't fit. Your interference is tantamount to political interference, which is not necessarily healthy, is it? Very well. Um, it depends on how you want to inter- uh, define the intervention. If you want to define my intervention on matters that concern students, workers in my community as interference, that is your definition. But I'm sure that if we subject my, con- my conduct to the test by posterity, you would come and vindicate me. Thank you very much, Mr. Afenyo Markin, for your contribution in this discussion. Afenyo Markin is a member of parliament for Efutu there. Uh, uh, he's been speaking to us about this. So how is the school's local chapter of the University Teachers Association welcoming the news? Joining us on the line is chairman of the association, who himself was sacked and has been reinstated, um, Mr. Uh, Dr. Ketwe Duku. Sir, thank you very much for your time this evening. On what basis is the association demanding reinstatement of uh, all other lecturers who, who were sacked? Uh, good evening, and good evening to 
we are listening. Uh, we believe that the designator of these affected individuals were in the first place unlawful. They were illegal. They were baseless without any concrete evidence against any of them. And for that reason, we believe the best way to do it is to reinstate everybody. And and and, and the, the, um, your your association, uh, University uh, Teachers Association of Ghana. I mean, the, throughout the country, has been holding press conferences on this matter. How how are they reacting to the information? I mean, three of you have been reinstated. The rest, you know, you you are, you are quite agitated about. It's a, sort of a mixed feeling. Is that is that how they they react to this? Yes, uh, in, in the first place, they were certain that everybody that was affected would have been reinstated. Now, on Monday, the council met and issued a press release that the three uh, immediate uh, lecturers that were dismissed have been reinstated. As a signature, we have not received any official letter from the university indicating that. So one wonders whether it was just for a, a public uh, gimmick or they, they really meant it. Because my dismissal, for instance, came with a letter specifically written to me that I have been dismissed from the, the services of the university. So if you now go out to say that I have been reinstated and you are not giving me a concrete evidence, a letter that will go onto my file to indicate that the first dismissal letter has not been annulled, then I'm, I'm not sure what that meant. It's a, a, a illegal sign for anybody. Okay. In any case, in any case uh, we believe that the reason a sign for the dismissal of any of our colleagues, as I indicated, for instance, in my case, I was dismissed for just going to court, taking the investigation to court. Now, if you have been stated me, why are you denying somebody who did not take the investigation to court, but only participating, he was only participating in the proceedings at the court? That was his only offense. Why do you still keep somebody who just received a text message on his phone and forwarded it to a group that he belongs to? So you, are, you, so you accept Hello? your so you accept your reinstatement and uh, 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 but you are demanding the reinstatement of, of all others, or is your acceptance of this uh, reinstatement uh, um, is it, the, the, does it necessarily have to come on the back of the reinstatement of the others? What, what I believe is that the fairness must be applied anywhere. Injustice anywhere, just like uh, Luther King said, affects justice everywhere. If it was right for me to be reinstated, what makes it wrong for others to be reinstated? And as a leader of that group, I think it's not be fair for me to accept that reinstatement and just sit down and go to work what I know very well that the basis for dismissing the other colleagues were also unlawful. That's why we believe that fairness must be applied. And applying payments, all those that were wrongly dismissed must be reinstated. Okay, so you accepted your reinstatement, but you're insisting on the reinstatement of the others. We were told by the, the, the university's council that those of you who felt you have been un unfairly dealt with should petition the council. Did you do that? That was, that was the basis. That was the, the initial uh, uh, position that they were going to accept uh, a petition from individuals. However, as I speak to you, I did not apply to that uh, committee or council. The two others that have been reinstated did not apply to that council for any appeal or review of the decision. So how did they review our uh, position? How did they review our reinstatement? So if they could, as a council, take the initiative to review and reinstate it, why can't they go ahead to apply to that decision? Okay. Well, the member of parliament for the area, uh, for uh, Futu, Mr. Afeno Markin, has been very instrumental in this. Uh, and and uh, one of the things that this evening he's calling for is for reconciliation on the university campus as the school looks to reopen on the 8th of April. Now, one of the things that is curious to a lot of people is whether you in particular will be able to, I mean, how are you, are you going to work with the the vice chancellor? You, you've described him in some unkind words. No, I, I don't think there's any problem. He is going to have someone working with me. I don't have a problem. I have my schedule. If I have a lecture, I will go to the lecture room. I will not need a VC in the lecture room. If I have a meeting in my department or faculty, the VC is not a member of that department or faculty. If I have been assigned to any task, I will do it diligently. Now, the issue is whether you then have the authority to, to, to act it where uh, 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 discipline anybody that might just have to go wrong. So that's what 
we now feel that the best way for him is to resign because he has failed as a, as a leader. Uh, the, it's kind of uh, 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 the bad news that we have planned for ourselves. So if you leave, I'm sure you go with the bad news and the news that you can move on as you uh, got before. Well, Mr. Keche, thank you very much. It, it means that you insist that he resigns. Uh, if he refuses, I think he should be sacked. Thank you very much. Uh, Ketre Duku there, he's the president for uh, UTAC on the University of Education Winneba campus. Well, away from the university, let me take you to parliament now. Well, the minority on the Parliament's Appointments Committee has voted against the approval of Evelyn Kumi Richardson as Minister for Bono East. The majority used its numbers to recommend her approval despite the minority's opposition. The minority had claimed she travelled to Canada without approval from the Chief of Staff in contravention of a government directive and spent more than $4,000, which they claim the Auditor General asked her to refund. They also raised uh, questions about her PhD. But Madam Evelyn Richardson said she has done nothing wrong. Samson Ahe is a member of the minority on the Appointments Committee. We realize that in some instances, she wasn't truthful to the committee. I mean, we those in the minority... Uh, on the appointment committee, uh, together with our leader, minority leader, Harun Medusi, all of us thought that she had some integrity problems, and because she she was not truthful uh, to us when she appeared, and those evidences that she provided contradicted even what she said verbally uh, before the appointment committee. So, how would you describe the conduct of the majority, sir? I think that. The, what they have done is just to rubber stamp whatever the, the president sent to parliament. Because otherwise, I mean, it was clear that uh, the woman just appeared before the committee and then lied to us. And so we expected them to also see reason with us and then recommend for her, the, the president to withdraw her appointment. But the one ahead, so I, 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 so I felt that it was no good for us as parliament, as an institution, that we rubber stamp whatever the president brings to us. The president alone cannot uh, appoint people to serve in their capacity as ministers and deputy ministers. That is why parliament is called upon to uh, complement the processes of appointing somebody to be a minister or a deputy minister. And so in discharging our duties, I mean, no, nobody has a personal... Uh, uh, issues with the woman. But judging from her conduct before the appointment committee, we felt that this woman should have not been given the opportunity to serve as a minister of state. Well, the minority's opposition, with notwithstanding, she has been approved as the new minister for the Bono East constituency. There, Samson Ahe is a member of parliament for Bodhi. He is also represent, he's also representing the minority on the appointment committee. Top story is brought to you by Bond Savings and Loans. Your success, our passion. Gasem, the nation builder. Vodafone, the future is exciting. Ready? A nationwide medical health insurance, your healthcare family. My name is Gifty. Ando Apia and Evans Mensa will be connecting with the rest of Ghana shortly. This is what you've been waiting for.